is Lee, WW2DX, and I'm just going to do a quick little demo here of EME contact, 2 meter EME contact. And you can hear how strong this station is now. You can hear the tones coming off the moon. Okay, that's him calling CQ. So we're going to actually call him here. So just like normal, we'll get the decode and just double-click the call sign, and WSJT will take over from there. So we're going to wait for 50 seconds past the minute. Very strong, very strong signal. There we go. There we go. Double-click. And at zero, 00 here, I'm going to start transmitting. So, there we go, 800 watts, <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, we can, we can, um, um, if you want to listen, that's our transmit tone. So we're transmitting 800 watts into the H-frame, 64 elements. So we can see this is Radio 50 Echo Mike Echo, which is a special events um, call. Okay, let's see if we get a response. We can see some moon data here at the top right. Um, you can get this information in WSJT by just going to uh, View and then Astronomical Data. And you'll pop this little this little window up, and you can see you know, the moon azimuth, the elevation of the current location of the station in, in New York. Okay, so we see him coming off the moon. We can hear him off the moon. He's very loud. <coughs> See if you decoded. So 36, come up here, 50 seconds past the minute. And let's see if I could figure out what he's using for antennas here. Let's, let's see if we can decode. Here we go. Yep, there it is, www, double click, and as we double click, it moves us to the next transmit sequence, so we're going to send ROs now. So, as you can see, his CQ is minus 11, uh, his last transmission was not minus 14, so it's very strong signals, very strong. And take note of some of these settings here in WSJT, so my tolerance is 20, um, sync is negative 1, you want to make sure you have that set to negative 1. And uh, let's see if I can figure out what he's running for antennas. Um, looking here, looking to see if I can figure out what he's running. Seeing it, I don't know what, what he's running for antennas. But it's working. Triple R out of him. Here's our triple R's, and then we're gonna click 73 here. <clears throat> okay, 
send 73 to him. Oh, log him? Sure, we'll log him. Okay, and we're sending 73 tone right now. And you can see in the bottom left corner, the, this is our transmit, what we're transmitting. Oh, let me log him here. I don't want to forget to log him. So this is uh, Radio 50. Radio 50 EME. I'll just put in 000, 000. I'll give his best was minus 11. And his greatest KO 72. I'm going to pull down the data. I want to just select JT65B. And then I'm going to log him. Boom. Done. So we just worked Russia off the moon. And now he's, gonna, he's sending me a 73 right now, which he didn't have to do. Typically, in a de-expedition, he'll just start sending CQ again or work in his next call. So as soon as you receive the trip, the 73 or the triple R's, you're in. Um, you're pretty much in. But sending the, the, the customary 73 back, letting him know that you got the, the triple R's, he's sending an, an additional 73, um, which he doesn't have to do, obviously, but it's just... A nice gesture. So we'll get a decode here. Really yeah, see, uh, it says negative 24, but that is w <laughs> much stronger than minus 24. It's down like around a minus 11 or 12, somewhere in there. Uh, so these, these decodes, uh, reports are not, not seem to be all that accurate. Great, so we just worked our first um, moon bounce EME Russian station on two meters off the moon. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making uh, future videos going through this process a little more in depth. And uh, hopefully we'll work you, I'll be heading off to CY0 here in a few weeks. And hopefully I'll work you uh, from this station over the moon. 73 for now.